Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the Michigan State Capitol Tour Education and Information Service. My name is Brian and today I'm standing outside of the Capitol building on the southwest corner of Capitol Square to talk about a building that sits kitty corner to the Capitol called Constitution Hall. Um, this is the second video in a series that we're calling the Meet the Neighbor series where we're going to meet the buildings that directly, directly surround the Capitol. Um, our first video in the series was back in September and it was on Capitol Complex. The Capitol Complex sits directly west of the Capitol building. Um, we're now moving south across the street to discuss our next building. So let's go ahead and turn our attention to Constitution Hall. Constitution Hall serves as a space leased by the state and houses the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, the Department of Agriculture, and portions of the Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs. The building was constructed from 2000 to 2002 for $40 million and at 500,000 square feet, Constitution Hall serves as the largest office building in downtown Lansing, standing at six stories tall and featuring a prominent curtain wall facade made of glass panels. The building was given its name to commemorate one of our state's most important events, the 1961 and 1962 Constitutional Convention. That being said, that event did not occur in Constitution Hall, it occurred in the building that was on the site prior, the Lansing Civic Center. The Civic Center was a large multi-purpose complex meant to host large conventions and serve as both a concert hall and a civic arena. There's a good chance longtime Lansing residents remember attending a concert, circus, expo, or performance here vividly. The Civic Center consisted of three main structures, a 6,500 seat large auditorium, a smaller auditorium, and a civic office building to be used for general city purposes and by veteran organizations. The 5.5 million Civic Center opened in 1955 and saw success right away, with the opening year seeing performances from the likes of Gene Autry, Louis Armstrong, Benny Goodman, Duke Ellington, the Harlem Globetrotters basketball team, and the famous Cuban opera, Carmen. The biggest event the Civic Center was able to snag came in 1961, when the state decided to hold its constitutional convention not in the crowded, dusty rooms of the aging Capitol building, but in the small auditorium of the Civic Center. The auditorium was refitted to resemble a legislative hall, and the small auditorium was appropriately renamed Constitution Hall. For seven and a half months, from 1961 to 1962, 144 delegates from throughout the state would craft Michigan's fourth state constitution, a much sleeker version than its previous 1908 version, trimming it from 17 articles down to 12. It would be adopted by the people of Michigan in April 1, 1963 general election. The height of the convention saw a visit from former President Dwight D. Eisenhower in December of 1961. He flew into Lansing Airport and was greeted by leaders of the state. President Eisenhower spoke in Constitution Hall to 500 people and praised the slimmer document the convention was crafting. Throughout the 70s and 80s, the Civic Center, now renamed the Civic Arena to not confuse with the new Lansing Center on Michigan Avenue, would begin to lose its luster. And in the 90s, the building was badly in need of either renovation or demolition. After being purchased by a private developer, the building was demolished in the summer of 1999 with construction of Constitution Hall beginning just a year later. Now that you've heard a little bit about Constitution Hall, make sure to join us next time to learn more about our Capitol neighbors. Thank you. Have a great day.